बिजनेस रैप इज ब्रॉट टू यू बाय एल आई सी जीवन वैभव Prime Minister Dr Manmohan Singh calls a meeting to discuss changes in national food security bill ahead of its likely introduction in the upcoming monsoon session Food and Agriculture Minister to take part in the meeting Retail inflation declines in the month of June comes down to 10.02% from 10.36% registering a decline of 34 basis points in one month and markets close with moderate gains barring healthcare and oil and gas all sectoral indices closed in the positive terrain sensex ends the session at 17185 up by 80 points A very good evening and welcome to this edition of Business Wrap on DD News. I'm Ranga Basham, and today we have a special discussion discussion focusing on the electronics manufacturing segment. In fact, the government uh, has, in the past few weeks, announced uh, schemes to boost electronic manufacturing locally. According to one such scheme, the government will provide up to 50 crore rupees for each electronics cluster. Within a week of clearing the scheme, about 20 companies have expressed interest in setting up manufacturing units in two clusters to be set up in Rajasthan and Andhra Pradesh. Your personal computer, smartphone, tablet, and almost every electronic device you use runs on electronic chips. But India lags behind in making them. In a bid to attract investment in the sector, the government has approved proposal to offer financial support for the development of electronics manufacturing clusters. The government will provide support of up to 50 crore rupees for setting up a cluster that manufactures specific kinds of devices. Under the proposed national electronics policy, the government will provide incentives for setting up 200 clusters across the country. we are on the cusp of a huge take off in demand on the sector from a base of approximately 45 billion dollars in uh, 2009 this sector will go to about 400 billion dollars in domestic consumption by 2020 so the growth prospects are huge uh, if i look at a long term perspective the prospects are bright India only accounts for 1.5% of the global electronics production but potential demand for a domestic manufacturing is huge according to government estimates India's electronic manufacturing industry is projected to grow at an annual pace of 22% to reach 125 billion dollars by 2014 currently the electronic market in India is valued at 45 billion dollars the industry is expected to reach the size of 400 billion dollars by 2020 providing employment to 28 million people directly or indirectly the demand for electronics items in india is huge according to the prime minister's advisor sam petroda the electronic import bill could far exceed the oil import bill by 2020 it's a grim prediction and makes it urgent for india to make manufacturing of electronic items locally with shivram in bangalore this is sidhan sibal dd news new delhi and to discuss more on the issue we are joined by mr j satyanarayana secretary department of electronics and it mr satyanarayana warm welcome to business wrap uh, before we move on to electronics manufacturing to start off with at the very outset uh, the name of the department has been changed from uh, department of it to department of electronics and information and technology it, is it a conscious decision to focus on electronics yeah this is a, a definitely a conscious decision to rename the department okay. and to add electronics to it to the it and to send the right message mm. to the world that you know we want to give higher focus to electronics going forward okay all these years you know uh, we have been taking pride that our software industry has uh, grown by leaps and bounds and we are known in the entire world for our software 
Uh, now, do you think the time has come where the government has to shift gears and change focus and have equal emphasis on hardware as well? Yeah, I think uh, during the last decade and a half, uh, India has grown as a superpower in the okay. software side and uh, thanks to the right environment, policy environment and uh, infrastructure okay. create, and also the resources, mm -hmm. human resources created for software. Okay. All along the electronics industry and the hardware industry have uh, really uh, not flourished so much okay. with the result that uh, today 80 percent plus of the domestic uh, requirement and demand is being met through imports. Anything you see today, whether it is a cell phone, whether it is any other electronic gadget, it is uh, either um, made in uh, China or made in Korea or made in Taiwan okay. and you do not uh, see and very they are rarely. basically assembled in our country. Not okay. even, I mean that is also uh, not significant. Okay. So, the idea is to ensure that most of these electronic goods that we use okay. day in and day out, uh, they get the stamp of made in India. Okay. Right. That is the goal. Right. Uh, the government of India has taken a number of initiatives uh, in the past couple of weeks um, and have like really, uh, uh, it seems as if the government is really serious to give, give a major push to manufacturing of electronic items in the country uh, for the domestic as well as export market. Uh, why at this juncture? Why do you think the government is focusing more uh, on, on the electronics manufacturing sector at this juncture? Yeah, I think there are several reasons, but the most important one is, uh, you know, if we do not take a, a big step at this point of time mm -hmm. and a strategic move to boost electronic manufacture here, by 2020, we are going to be, you know, weighed down by the import bill, import bill which okay. is going to exceed the import bill of oil. The import bill on, on electronics is going to okay. exceed. So, this is going to be catastrophic from the perspective of the development of economy. So, that is one reason. The second of course, is uh, also uh, for strategic considerations. Okay. Going forward, India needs to have self-sufficiency in um, electronics uh, for various strategic reasons and uh, considerations of national security as well. Okay. So, that is the reason, uh, you know, that the government has come up with a comprehensive and holistic policy on electronics at this point. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Satyarana, tell us about the details uh, of this new scheme, the modified special incentive uh, package scheme. Yeah, uh, uh, this modified uh, special incentive package scheme or MCIPS as we call it, yeah. is part of a overall holistic policy. Uh, the draft uh, electronic policy, which is uh, yet to be approved by the union government, mm -hmm. but is in its draft stage. But the two major components have been recently ap approved in the month of July mm -hmm. by the union cabinet. One is the electronic manufacturing clusters meant to, uh, you know, support the creation of uh, world class infrastructure for electronics manufacture that is called EMC scheme. Mm -hmm. And the second one is for encouraging units to be established in such EMCs. So, the first one is meant for infrastructure, common infrastructure for a cluster of electronic units okay. and the MCIPS is meant to provide in specific incentives to those individual units. So, the on the infrastructure side the subsidy could be uh, as large as uh, 50, crore, uh, 50 crores for, okay. for a cluster of 100 acres. And on the MCIPS, the incentives could be 20 to 25 percent of the capital expenditure okay. uh, incurred by a particular unit. Unit, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you think uh, at this juncture uh, the business environment of our country uh, uh, does not promote uh, electronics manufacturing? Yeah, we India as a country we suffer, you know, serious debilities okay. in terms of higher costs of power, logistics, okay. infrastructure and uh, finance as well compared to some of the countries globally and more so 
in the uh, in the Asian some of the Asian countries, we are not able to compete. And in the WTO regime, obviously they come in with a zero tariff from all corners of the world. So we need to offset these disabilities okay. suffered by the Indian uh, manufacturers and neutralize them to a large extent. So uh, we have a level playing field. Okay. You you are talking about competition. The entire world says that you know China is a, is a big mammoth uh, in hardware manufacturing, uh, and not only China, even other countries like Korea and Thailand. Uh, do you think India in the next couple of years will be able to give a stiff competition to all these countries, especially China? Yes, that is the aim. Actually, I think uh, uh, a good fifty percent plus of our imports are from China. Okay. So. Uh, we need to definitely compete with those major suppliers and uh, encourage by encouraging the manufacture okay. here and making it cost effective uh, and also qualitatively superior so that they will stand the market forces. That's true. Mr. Satyanar, on the face of it, this modified special in incentive scheme seems to be really good and could potentially do wonders to the manufacturing sector, but there are bottlenecks, say infrastructure bottlenecks, you have logistics which is a ma major problem, then labor issues, you know the industry has been crying foul and making a big hue and cry all these times that India needs to go ahead with the second generation reforms, predominantly reforms on the, on the labor front. So won't that be major hurdles, challenges uh, for a policy like this? Uh, I do not see them as challenges, but it is a question of uh, sequencing and prioritization of what we need to do. Okay. There is a lot that needs to be done at the end of the day. So uh, we are addressing through these different uh, discrete components of the electronics policy, we are addressing one by one. For instance, the preferential market access policy, mm -hmm. which was announced in February, okay. that was the first of the major forward steps. Second is the, uh, you know, the EMC. The EMC addresses the infrastructure issues, okay. you know. Uh, and the third one is the MCIPS, which addresses the unit level issues. Okay. So it is a question of sequencing and then we have to address a number of other issues through individual initiatives like producing the right number of, you know, right sort of people for qualified people for the sector. Uh, and also uh, the, the, the host of um, you know procedural reforms including the, the way labor uh, you know is treated and uh, managed here in this country. Okay. So uh, it is a question of sequencing and timing. We will definitely address the other issues as we go forward. Okay. The policy yeah. means of uh, Department of Electronics and IT, it seems as if you are focusing more on, on computers and, and accessories. Uh, does it uh, include only computers or is it for the entire general, entire gamut of uh, electronics like consumer electronics, avionics? And yes. Things? So it is uh, a generic policy that okay. benefits the whole of um, the electronics uh, sector, sector yeah. which has a very wide range. Today it is hard to imagine mm -hmm. uh, an hour to pass in a day, you know, uh, without, without our touching or using exactly. our one <laughs> electronic. So, the sure. policy touches on consumer electronics, industrial electronics, automobile electronics okay. and uh, uh, you know aviation electronics, all kinds of medical electronics for okay. instance. There is a huge dependency uh, in procurement of uh, medical electronics by all the hospitals. That's right. So, can we have indigenous equipment? Okay. So, you are targeting at that. Uh, we need to wind up this discussion, but very briefly before we wind up, although it is early days, what is the kind of response uh, which you are getting for the scheme like this? Yeah, it is uh, quite encouraging and uh, very positive. The industry in India, various uh, industry associations as well, okay. they have been eagerly awaiting, uh, you know, each of these uh, components that have been already approved by the government of India and uh, they are quite upbeat about the whole thing. Okay. They are confident that a holistic approach which looks not at uh, incentives for the sake of incentives, but okay. a, in a holistic manner, the manpower side, the infrastructure side, the so trying to promote the entire unit, uh, unit side and the overall environment and ambience, 
uh, so they are quite comfortable with it at this. Mr. Satyanarana, thank you so much uh, for joining us in the studios. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you very much.